Here's a fun exercise. Let's go over the top five descriptions that come to mind when you hear real estate agent. Go! Okay, have you thought about it? Great, let me know how many of these I got right. Number one, lazy. Number two, no substance. Number three, no real expertise. Number four, always lying. Number five, never works, ever. I probably hit some of your top five. So after this exercise, you're probably thinking, he's right, what do they do anyway? If I ever sell a home, it's going to be on my own. Well, I'm obviously here to tell you, like the line that Julia Roberts made famous goes, big mistake, huge. So let's address this. Point one and five, a real estate agent cannot be lazy because they are either at an open house, on the phone with other realtors or clients or attorneys in the process of selling your home. We are always on the phone like this thing. It could be another hand. As far as substance and expertise, here's a little list of what a realtor needs to know or be good at in order to move properties. Sales psychology, legal. Okay, from the legal department, here's a disclaimer, we are not lawyers. But we do need to know the basics in zoning, planning, divorce, estate planning, and inheritance. Construction, materials and best practices, plumbing, electric, chimney, oil tank, boiler. Phew, I'm getting tired, but there's still marketing, digital marketing, social marketing, advertising, event planning, PR. Okay, I'm not gonna go on. You're always lying. Well, I know that in order to be a long-lasting realtor, you cannot lie. Word gets around to clients and colleagues, and before long, you're finished. That's why it's a profession. And I'm personally proud of the reputation I have built. And aside from all of this, a good agent won't let an interested party walk away. They'll use the specific knowledge that they have about your micro neighborhood, the structure, and the land to convince that buyer that your home is worth the price. And then they'll make sure there's a deal, even after the inspection, when the deal usually falls apart because the sellers and the buyers are sticking to their guns about the $500 repair. So to summarize, a good agent will market your home and spend major dollars doing so. They'll negotiate for you when things get sticky and things usually get sticky. They'll babysit your deal as if it was their own. No attorney is going to do that for an average of $1,500. And of course, they're going to stroll into the closing and collect their check. And if you have an agent, you will go to the closing and collect yours too.